Romeo, runway 34, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. So in that clip, the pilot was cleared to take off, but they were instructed to fly runway heading. Today we'll be listening to live ATC conversations with pilots here at Addison Airport, and I'll be deciphering them for you. Parking Sierra, 6 Alpha. November 6 4 Alpha, turn right when able, taxi be Alpha to Sierra, monitor ground. Foxtrot Alpha Sierra, monitor ground, 6 Alpha. Okay, so in that clip right there, the airplane that had just landed notified Tower that they were parking at Sierra, letting them know where they wanted to go. And the tower gave them instructions to taxi onto Alpha, monitor ground, and then taxi to Sierra via Alpha. So one thing that I wanna point out is that they told them to monitor ground. Basically when, when Tower's telling them to monitor ground, they're saying, get off the runway, get headed towards your destination where you're going to park, and then just be ready to listen on the ground frequency for any further instructions that you have. You're intended to continue taxiing to your, your destination. On the flip side, if they tell you to contact ground, they want you to cross the hold short lines, stop, switch over to the ground frequency, call up the ground controller, and let them know that you're on frequency and that you're ready to proceed to your destination for parking, in this case, Sierra. Can I get a wind check for Addison 34? 340 So their pilot was on final and they were asking for a wind check, just an update of what exactly the winds are doing there at the surface so that they can do the proper wind correction as they're coming in on final and that nothing is gonna surprise them as far as maybe gusts of wind that they weren't expecting. Addison Tower, uh, Cherokee 318 Romeo, holding short of runway 34 rate for departure. So here we have a pilot that is ready to go. They're ready to take off and they are holding short of runway 34. So they are waiting for tower to give them the all clear that they can pull onto the runway and take off. A318 Romeo Tower, runway 34, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 34, one eight Romeo. And so right there, tower told them to line up and wait. And uh, for a lot of new pilots, the line up and wait instruction can be a little bit confusing. When they tell you to line up and wait, you don't have to hold short of the runway and wait there. You actually pull onto the runway, get on the center line and stop. From there, you wait until tower clears you for takeoff. And then at that point, you can go full power and proceed with your takeoff. So line up and wait doesn't mean wait to get on the runway. It does mean go ahead and pull on the runway, get on the center line, and then stop and wait for further clearance. Runway Romeo, runway 34, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. Clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. One Romeo. So in that clip, pilot was cleared to take off, but they were instructed to fly runway heading. So as soon as they take off, they're going to continue flying on the, the same heading that the direction of the runway is pointed. So they're not authorized to turn right or left until ATC gives them further instructions. Addison Tower, Thrust 545, holding short 34 for VFR departure to the east. Thrust 545, Addison Tower, runway 34, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 34, Thrust 545. So in one of the other clips, we listened to a pilot that was instructed to line up and wait on runway 34. In this instance, when they let Tower know that they were ready for takeoff, Tower went ahead and gave them clearance to take off. So as soon as they pull on the runway, they're free to go ahead and proceed with the takeoff. When I run contact regional departure, we'll see you. Region departure, see you. So on that radio call, the pilot who had just taken off was likely on flight following, and they had probably just left the airport within the last few seconds and were on their climb out, and they were instructed to contact regional departure. And then they're gonna stick with regional departure and communicate with them until they get handed off to another controller. So this way they're communicating with a controller all along the way that they're traveling on their whole route. Anson Tower, Conquest 441, Hotel Sierra, Visual 34. Alcoa 441, Hotel Sierra, Addison Tower, runway 34, clear to land. Clear to land 34, Hotel Sierra. So on that recording, there was a pilot who was coming into land here at Addison, and they were letting Tower know that they could do a visual approach to the runway rather than an instrument approach, and then Tower immediately cleared them to land. Addison Tower, Malibu 135, uniform Sierra, uh, 2500. Alpha 135 Uniform Sierra, Aston Tower, Roger. You set up for the uh, the left that one better? Left that one is five, Uniform Sierra. Uniform Sierra, Uniform Sierra, Roger. You can begin your descent pattern out to left that one, runway 34. Continue left that one, 34, five, Uniform Sierra.
So in that recording, there was a pilot who had just been handed off from regional approach to Addison Tower, and they were checking in, letting them know what altitude they were at. And then from there, the tower asked what leg of the pattern they were best set up for, and tower instructed them to proceed with the left downwind from there. Wind 3407. Five uniform zero, you're number two, you're following Conquest Mile Final, facing good, runway 34, good away. Good land, 34, number two, looking for that traffic pattern. So in that recording, there are multiple aircraft coming in to land. The pilot was instructed that he was the number two aircraft in line to land. He was following a conquest. That way, the pilot that he was speaking to could be on the lookout for that traffic, and they were advised that they were clear to land as long as they have that traffic in sight. Number seven zero whiskey, you begin descent, continue down, and I'll call your base. Begin descent, continue down, and you call base. Seven zero whiskey. So here at Addison, we always have to come into the airspace at 2,500 feet, and we're not able to descend to traffic pattern altitude, which is 1,601 feet here at Addison, until we've been cleared to by the tower. So in this instance, the tower cleared them to go ahead and begin their descent down to pattern altitude. Number one hotel, Sierra, stay parking. I go on to uh, uniform. One hotel, Sierra, turn right, golf, taxi, straight ahead to uniform, and model ground point six. And golf and straight ahead and we'll monitor point six. So in that radio communication, Tower asked where they were parking. They responded that they were going to be parking at Uniform. And so Tower instructed them to turn at Golf. And on Golf, they can just cross straight over onto Taxiway Uniform. He did tell them to monitor ground. So once again, once they cross the hold short lines, they keep rolling and switch over to the ground frequency and be ready to receive any further instructions from ground. Although they're more than likely going to just be listening they probably won't actually receive any instructions in that particular instance. 7 zero Whiskey, you can begin your base. You follow the Meridian turning a mile and a half to the left base. Runway 34, clear left. And out of the tower, good evening. Uh, Skyline 120 from you. Holding short, 34, ready for VFR. 7 zero Whiskey, did you copy? Hey, I'm sitting base now, and we're looking for the traffic. 7 zero Whiskey. 7 zero Whiskey, arc clear left, runway 34. Land 34, 7 zero Whiskey, and I have that Meridian set. So on that radio communication, the pilot was instructed to turn base and that he would be following a meridian that was already on a one and a half mile base. And in between the tower's communication to the pilot, another pilot on the ground called up and let them let tower know that they were ready for departure. So kind of jumped the gun and, and interrupted a conversation that was actively going on. Tower then followed up with the pilot that was instructed to make their base turn just to verify that they had heard and that they were aware of the meridian that they were following. And so the pilot did confirm that they were following the meridian. All right, that's all for our video today. If you've ever had any wild conversations with ATC, we'd love to hear about it. So please put those in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos from Thrust Flight.